People say that your car is an extension of yourself, a mechanical personality. If that's the case, then driving this makes me the Terminator. I'm a £330,000 cyborg with a V12 engine. Meet the new extension of me. This is the Tramontana R edition, and it's the car that Arnold Schwarzenegger would drive if he wasn't trying to persuade Californians to eat their greens. It was designed to be, and I quote, a combination of Formula One racing car and a fighter jet. The chassis is made entirely of carbon fibre, which not only makes it as rigid as an F1 car, but thanks to the 5.5-litre twin-turbo Mercedes engine, also about as powerful. It's got 720 brake horsepower, 811 pounds-feet of torque, it weighs just over 1,200 kilos, and I'm thinking this could do some serious damage. The Tramontana is named after a northern wind which blows across its birthplace in the Costa Brava region of Spain. And it was a wind that brought with it bad weather. The company bigwigs were reluctant to let me drive, worried that I'd lose control in the wet. But after a flurry of phone calls, we were given the green light on the condition that Geordie, the Spanish test driver, could keep an eye out for stormy rain clouds. Oh, this is awesome. It's very odd. It feels like I'm in a helicopter. We should have some sort of weapons pods, though. Yeah. I do think that's got to be in the Tramontana RR. It needs maybe machine guns? Yeah, probably. The car's default setting uses just 550 horsepower of the 720 that are available. And honestly, in a car that weighs about 1,200 kilos, it's quite hard. Check this out. Oh! <laughs> Hello there. It's actually pretty easy. It looks so extreme that you think that it's going to be really difficult to drive. But it's very quiet, even. Happily for mere humans like myself, the Tramontana comes with a built-in learning curve. There's a four-stage traction control system. And as we were on local roads, I kept it in save my life if I do something wrong mode. So it's still supposed to be a usable thing? Yeah, it's supposed to be something like that. You can go shopping with it, you can go... Go and... shopping with it. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that. In fact, the only thing that really takes some getting used to is the six-speed sequential box. I'm going to change it from second to third, so we dip the clutch, pull back quite firmly, and we're in third gear. But that incredible engine's got so much torque that you barely need to use the gearbox. It made me a little bit emotional really smooth, like creamy butter on an oiled panther. Or something. <laughs> now, I could say that the seat was a little bit high and that the pedals could have been a bit stiffer, but each car is made to measure an automotive Savile Row suit. So there was just one thing left to do. Tramontana, probably the strangest car company you've never heard of. They're tremendously fast, tremendously exclusive, and tremendously good fun. Not so much a car, more of a spaceship. My word, do we like that. <laughs>